welcome to Fourth Grade, Chapter 12, Lesson 7. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, before we do, I want you guys to pay attention to our King Henry. King Henry doesn't usually drink out of the milk. Helps us know how many times we need to move the decimal when it's up here. Okay? So, we're going to go from 3 kilograms to 3 grams. Well, the first number is not going to change. Okay? It's going to be 3. But going from kilograms to grams, because usually is the unit, which is the liter, grams, or meters. Okay, and we're going from kilo just to straight grams. Okay, so we're going to move that decimal one, two, three times to the right. Okay, which means where our decimal would normally be there, we need to move it one, two, three times. Well, we fill those with zeros. Okay, we're going to go from liters to milliliters now. Okay, so our first number is not going to change. Okay, that would normally be where the decimal is if we were just talking straight liters, okay? But we're going from liters to milliliters. Well, here's liters, and here's milliliters. So we're gonna put on one, two, three zeros again. Done, okay? Kilogram to gram. Kilo, gram, okay? One, two, three times. We're gonna move our decimal, three zeros. So we have our seven, and then we have one, two, three zeros. Okay, you guys do five through seven, you totally can, okay? And we are going to see what we can do about this, okay? So our first number is gonna be the same. We're going from kilo to straight grams and see which one is bigger, okay? Kilo, grams, one, two, three, add on three zeros. So 8,000 grams or 850 grams? 8,000 is definitely bigger, okay? All right, three liters or 3,500 milliliters. So, three for liters, okay? Liters, and we're going to milliliters. One, two, three zeros. Okay, well, 3,000 is less than 3,500. That one's bigger. Okay, you guys do 10 and 11. We're going to go down and do 12. Okay, can anybody buy four one liter bottles of water? milliliters okay well our first is going to be four and then we're going to add on zeros for every place we have to move okay so we're going from liters to milliliters liters to milliliters one two three three zeros guys milliliters small m capital l okay mrs jones bought three two kilogram packages of flour how many grams is that well, she bought three of them and they're each two. That's going to be six. Okay. But now we need to go from kilogram to gram. Kilo to gram. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it's going to be in grams. Okay. Colleen bought eight kilograms of apples and two and a half kilograms of pears. How many more grams of apples than pears did she buy? Okay, well first, we need to know what the difference is between eight and 2.5. Or we could move them all from kilograms to grams. Let's do that, okay? So we have eight and we have 2.5, but I'm gonna put two five there because we're gonna be moving the decimal. So I'll show you. Okay, so kilograms to grams, kilo to grams, one, two, three zeros, one, two, three zeros. Now, the decimal would be here, but we're going one, two, three. Okay, it had a number there that we could move. So we're not adding three zeros because it, we had a number there that we could move it. Okay, and then we're going to subtract. Okay. Zero, zero, zero can't take away five. And then far, I want to make that 10. 10 take away five is five, and seven minus two is five. So 5,500 grams. Okay. Dave uses 500 milliliters of juice for a punch recipe. He mixes it with two liters of ginger ale. How many milliliters of punch does he make? Okay. Well, let's go from liters to milliliters for the 200, okay? So, 
So whatever it is, we're going to have a two for our first one. Okay, and we're going to go from liters to milliliters. So liters to milliliters. One, two, three. So one, two, three, that gives us three zeros. Okay, plus the 500 milliliters. Add them up. There we go. Okay, make sure these guys are right now your work, okay? All right, let's go on to the back, okay, where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we are going to go down and do the spiral review. Sorry, I'm trying to find my, my little protractor that I'll cut out really fast. Let me see if I can find it. I know it's here somewhere. I just had it this morning. Oh, I found it. Okay. All right, y'all. So I know that y'all have all those fancy ones, but I just bought or I just printed one off the internet. Okay. So line up that one. This is going straight out. That is that. A, oops, sorry. It is right in between 140 and 150, so it's going to be a 145 degree angle. Okay. Draw a pair of parallel lines. Well, you could draw these. You could draw these. You could draw these. You could draw these. Could draw these. Any straight lines that are never going to meet. Okay, you can just pick one of those. You don't have to do them all, okay? All right, Carly bought three pounds of bird seed. How many ounces did she buy? Okay, so we are gonna start over here. We have three pounds, and in one pound, there are 16 ounces, okay? So I'm going to cancel out my pounds. So I'm getting in ounces, which is what I want. Okay, and three times 16. Okay, three times six is 18. Carry the one. Three times one is three, plus one is four. 48 ounces. Okay, a door is eight decimeters wide. How wide is the door in centimeters? So we're going to start with eight. Okay. Decimeters to centimeters. Well, here is deci and here is centi. So we're just going to add on one zero because we're going to the right. Okay? All right. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 12.7. Come on back for 12.8. See you soon.